again. My name is Gabe Zolna. This is the afternoon of the 10th of February, 2019. You know, you've heard me say more than once that when Barack Hussein Obama was in the Oval Office, he infiltrated Muslims throughout key cabinet positions. Now, if you don't believe me, go do your own research. John Brennan is a Wahhabist follower of Islam. He's a devout Muslim. John Brennan went to Mecca on a pilgrimage. Jay Johnson, who ran DHS, also a devout Muslim. Again, go to your own research. Obama was able to infiltrate every key cabinet position with a member of the Muslim Brotherhood. And what do we know about Muslims? Well, we know that they don't integrate. We know that they don't assimilate. And throughout history, they end up dominating and then they subjugate those that they dominate. Now, if we know that about Muslims throughout history, why would we allow four Muslims to become members of Congress? The problem is, it isn't a matter of us allowing or not allowing. It's the democratic way. They get voted in by their constituents. These Muslims that are now members of Congress, not a single one believes in the Constitution, not a single one was sworn in on the Bible, nor was Obama sworn in on the Bible. When he was first put into the Oval Office, the Chief Justice, John Roberts, flubbed the information that he had to recite. And they did it again the next day in the Oval Office. And the next day there was no Bible present. I actually did videos on all that. Now what we've got is we've got a Congress with four Muslims that we know don't assimilate, they don't integrate. And their objective is to dominate and eventually subjugate. What's wrong with this country when we allow this kind of insanity to take place? We now have four. Before this last midterm we had two. After the next midterm or the next election we'll have six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen. Are you sort of getting a picture of what's happening to this country? You see why I had said what I had said way back when Obama was put in to the Oval Office to do exactly what he's done? To bring Islam to America. This is all part of the Ottoman Empire, the return of the Caliphate. You don't want to hear it. Don't listen. Go do your own research and you tell me where I'm wrong. These desert mud flaps are there to destroy our country and to bring in Sharia law. Saudi Arabia is a Sharia law compliant country. Wahhabianism is the Muslim religion that they practice which is the most radical of all Islamic religions. Saudi Arabia hates the infidel. It's in their preaching. They teach that in their schools. That's Saudi Arabia. You can't be a citizen of Saudi Arabia unless you're a Muslim, a convert to Islam. 
Why is it that we allow Saudi Arabia to have thousands of mosques in our country and we can't have a single church or a synagogue in their country? You see what's wrong with this whole picture? President Trump needs to wake up. The crown prince, Mohammed bin Salam, is a butcher and he needs to be held responsible and accountable for the butchering of Jamal Khosagi. Instead, what does Trump do? He ignores the truth and he sends that worthless Jared Kushner on a mission. Absolutely insane. Go do your own research. You'll see what John Brennan is all about. You'll see what Jay Johnson is all about. I think Loretta Lynch was a Muslim or is a Muslim. He surrounded himself with Muslims and they're everywhere. Get used to it because it's not going to go away. It's going to get progressively worse after each election. Their numbers are growing. And they know that they can use the democratic system to achieve their objective, which is the subjugation of the American people. I probably won't be here when that happens, but my children will, and my grandchildren will, and guess what? So are yours. If you watch some of my earlier videos, I said the best thing you could do with your children and grandchildren is teach them Arabic because they'll need it. You might want to repost this in all your social media accounts. You might want to pass it along to like-minded friends and ask them to do the same. What the hell is Trump waiting for?